Hi, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and I'm bringing you back to the Renaissance era this morning. And one thing that was very popular during the Renaissance was um, wax seals used on the back of their envelopes and their letters to show that they had actually been the one to write the letter and to show that it has not been opened yet. It was kind of for security purposes. Um, generally they used, had a special candle. Um, they would use usually a red wax and they would almost always wear a ring with a design built into it that incorporated their monogram or um, their coat of arms and that ring would be pushed into the hot wax saying that they indeed were the author of the enclosed correspondence. So today what I'm going to do is show you how you can use that same type of technique only in um, your paper crafting now in 2014. Um, I'm using a gold sealing wax stick with a wick. Um, you can also find some that go in glue guns but that really only works well if you're going to be mass producing. Um, if you're just going to make one or two projects, I highly recommend getting the kind with a wick because then you just light it, use what you want, put the flame out, and you're done. Whereas with the glue gun, um, you kind of want to try to use the whole stick um, at a time or else things get a, bit of get a bit messy. So I have this small circular stamp and a Versamark pad that I'm going to be using for my wax seal. And I thought I would just go ahead and show you um, how you could go about adding one of these to the back of an envelope. So I'm going to light this. And you're going to need to let it burn for a few minutes here to get start getting the wax going. And you can see the wax is starting to melt. And now I'm going to tip it like this and hold it almost completely horizontal. I don't want to tip it too much, but what I'm going to want to do is get a nice puddle of this wax. And it will take a few minutes. You're going to want to get a puddle that's just a little bit bigger than your stamp that you're using for your seal. And while you're doing this, you can just kind of think about how you're connecting with the past by doing this art form. This is something that people did on a daily basis. While that wax is still nice and warm, I'm going to go ahead and ink my stamp with Versamark and add press the stamp into the wax like this. And you're going to want to hold this in place for just a minute or two while the wax cools. You can go on and work on another project or something while you're allowing this to harden. You definitely don't want to pull it out too early. And there it is, and it looks official. I have a little, um, a little something else I wanted to show you using wax seals. Um, I've taken this illuminated letter A that was in the Renaissance Stamp Affair kit, but really you could use um, any kind of block letter stamp probably that has a little bit of detail incorporated to it. And I used the um, actual wax and I melted the puddle onto wax paper and impressed my stamp into it. And then what I'm able to do is peel this 
right off the wax paper. And it does leave a tiny bit of a residue, but nothing major. If you do end up having trouble removing it, you can always stick this in the freezer for a minute and it makes the wax a little bit more stiff. So since I did it on the wax paper, now I have this great seal that I can p play with placing on my card um, and not um, having to put the wax directly on my card. I've got a, um, a sentiment here also from the stamp, Renaissance stamp set in Royal Velvet ink and one of the patterned papers from the kit. And I think I'm going to use this little piece of ribbon with the seal. And I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiment right in the middle. Like this. It says a birthday greeting. Now that that's added, I can go ahead and get some score tape and add it to the back side of this ripe avocado grow grain ribbon. And I'm going to add this ribbon right down the side of the card front like this and go ahead and fold it over the top like so. And now I am able to just use regular old score tape, put a little bit of that right on the back of the seal and I can place it exactly where I would like it to go with no trouble at all. I'm going to go ahead and add that right here. And I'll just add that to a card base and there's a completed card. And that shows you how you can use the wax seals into your actual card designs and not just um, leave them for an envelope. And this can be done with um, metallic embossing powder. And what I'm going to start by doing is um, I'm going to I've got two circles I've die cut using the dies that came in the SAF kit, um, but of course you could use um, two circle punches, um, one a bit smaller than the other, um, or you could use um, some dies in basic shapes if you have that on hand. And I have a popsicle stick here. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive at the end of it, and I'm going to start with the larger circle and put it on the popsicle stick like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab this in my Versamark pad. And I'm going to sprinkle this with gold embossing powder. I'm going to go ahead and pour this excess powder back into the jar. Get my popsicle stick here. I'm going to go ahead and heat set this. You can see I've covered the whole shape with the embossing powder. And this die has got a slight um, scalloped edge to it that makes it look a bit more like a, a seal. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set this aside and I'm going to repeat the process with this smaller circle. Only this time I'm going to do a couple layers. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to build up the thickness of the embossing powder a bit. So that um, we'll get a nice impression when creating a seal. So you see that's melted, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it cool off just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and stick this back into the Versamark pad, and I left my little pile of embossing powder over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and tap that in there, get a nice coating on here, heat again.
let it cool for just a second so it solidifies a bit. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and this will be the final layer. Go ahead and dab this in. Heat this. And now I'm actually going to remove this from the popsicle stick. I'm going to add just a bit of adhesive right on my scrap cardstock I'm working on here and stick this into place. And I've got my stamp that's going to coordinate with the size of this circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reheat this powder until it gets nice and liquidy here. I've got my stamp inked up in verse mark, and I'm going to go ahead and press it right into the hot embossing powder. You want to hold it just for a minute while the embossing powder cools around the image. And you do want to probably use bolder images for this technique. And there you can see the design impressed into that gold. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of this like so. And there I have my faux wax seal.